Hey guys, welcome to RK Keynotes. In the previous video, we have implemented core tags and function tags from JSTL tag libs. In this video, I'll talk about format tag and then XML tag. So we're going to implement uh, these uh, tags to be specific. That is FMT is the prefix for format and X we will be using for XML as a prefix. Then we're going to use this format date and parse date and set time zone. And then in under XML, we're going to use parse for each and X out tags. Fine. So before getting into the demo, let's see a few more information about these tags and then let's get into the demo. So let me just show you that you can see that the, the URL for the XML tag goes like this and the prefix is X. So we can use these XML tags, uh, you know, to manipulate uh, or to create XML document. So I'm going to I'm going to create an XML document and then from there I'm going to access it. So with the demo, you can understand this well. These many XML tags are available. Of from this, we we we're gonna use few tags. We're gonna explore parse and then we're gonna explore um, out uh, tags. Okay. So these. Uh, tags are used to print the statements and then it it will it will read the entire tag uh so 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 that you know we can access the a particular information from the tag using this parse tag and then these many formatting tags are available like if you want to print the time uh, time zone yes you can use fmt colon time zone or if you want to print the uh you know date or, or 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 so you can use parse date or else only time you can print or else if you want to print the format of the date yes we can uh, format uh, the date so so there are a number of uh, tags available under formatting all right so now let's uh, let's uh, move to the netbeans and we'll implement the tags which we have seen as a problem statement so here I have created a file for you. Uh, first, let's explore XML tags, and you can see that this is the uh, XML tag.jsp. Now, before getting into this, so I'm going to implement some concepts related to books. Okay, so that is from uh, this file books.xml. So this is a separate XML file. Let me open this. So I have just created two main tags that is books and inside the books I have two books okay the first book tag shows the first name of the book and then the author and then the price of the book so these are all the names of the tags right and then again I'm, I'm going to use the same names but the book information is different okay so now I have two books all right uh, in the XML uh, file XML document so I'm going to create one more JSP file like this XML tags.jsp. And in that, I have used imported code tags and XML tags. I have already shown you how to bring this particular thing. So you have to press control, control space. So it will display automatically the available URLs or attributes from the particular attribute. Okay. So or we need we, we are implementing xml tags so i need to go with this okay now the first tag so let me run program first and then let's see what happens let me go to this yeah so the first tag is displaying all the information like book title price and then the second book title and then the second book's price okay now let's see uh in the code now the first step which i have to do this is just to print something and then here i'm importing c colon import i'm using core tag and importing what i'm what i need to import is this particular file book dot books dot xml right so i'm saying url books dot xml and in this variable i'm going to store all the information fine the imported information okay that is book info now i'm using xml parse uh, tag and then I'm parsing the variable that is, I mean, in, in this variable, all the information's got stored, right? So I'm specifying it. And then 
I'm again creating one more variable that is called as output. Now, I want to display the first book title and price. So what I'm saying is that x out is used. X, x dot x colon parse is used to parse the entire document, which means the tags inside that. And then this x out is x colon out is used to print a particular you know line or a statement. So uh, using this variable that is output and then the tags. So I want to uh, there is a tag called books and then inside that there is a book tag and then I want to display the first book information. So I'm saying one and then I want the name of the book so that it is printing the name of the book. Fine. And this comes from here, this label information. Similarly, I'm doing it for the first book price and then for the second book name and then second book price. So it will be displayed. Now, what if I want to display 10 books information? So this is a tedious task to write X out, right? So for that purpose, I'm using for each loop. Uh, so this is very simple. I'm doing the same thing, X colon for each. And then now you see, I'm saying select. So I can select between, uh, you know, the tags, I mean, select between the books. Uh, so I'm saying the same thing, output, uh, because that is a variable. And then I want uh, to explore, go into the books tag and then book tag. And then I want to print the name of the book, only name of the book. Fine. And then again, I have a variable called item for this particular for each. Now, what I want to do, I want to print book name only, right? Because this is this URL is only for the name. So I'm saying book name x out select equal to call the variable that is item using the el tag. Fine. So now what happens? First, it'll, it the the for each loop is going to loop n number of times. Uh, obviously, we have two book names, so it is going to loop two times, and then it will print this particular statement twice. So the first item name. I mean the first book name and then the second uh, book name will be printed for us similar to this the first book name and then the second book name if you have 10 books then it is going to book uh, you know print uh, 10 uh, book names for us it is very simple right okay now let's explore the formatting tags so let's uh, go back and this is the output you can see for the formatting tags uh, first is printing the formatted time and formatted date all right so let's explore this now again i'm using uh, core tags and formatting tags so fmt and core is imported here right and then you can say uh, see that first thing i want to do is that uh, i need to set the date uh, uh, information with a variable right so i'm saying set and then the variable is date and then here I'm uh, using expression tag. I'm saying I'm creating an object for the date, like Java dot or util dot date means all the information regarding date, time, and everything will be stored in this variable that is date. Okay. Now I want to display only the date, so I'm saying FMT format date. So I uh, so here I want to display time. Okay. The type equal to time, and then I'm calling the variable that is date inside the el tag expression language tag, which we have discussed in the previous video. So it will display only the time. So that is what it is displaying only the time, and then the second one is displaying only the date for us because I'm saying type equal to date. So uh, for my reference here, uh, it is printing some date for us that is uh, starting from because we have set the date in that way, right? The value is 12 a 20 uh, 2016, and then parse date and then the value is date and the variable is parse date and then the pattern is ah okay so we want in this pattern date month and year and then that's what it has printed for us fine now i want long time style and then long date style so that it is printing you the uh you know the lengthy stuff like uh, month day year and then time minute seconds and then am pm and then ist something like this right so i mean uh, there are many tags which you can play with um uh, like formatting and xml tags so these are the few tags which i have used um i got this particular output over here so you can try this even and then let me know if you have got any queries um so that uh, we can resolve that um hit the like button if you like the video mm. 
in the next video we will talk about custom tags and and we will try to implement the crud applications in jsp right stay tuned um, see you uh, thank you and thanks for watching the video now